welcome back uh, uh, to the view from Jay, man. I know it's been a while since we've done a video. Uh, we've just been really busy with just yeah, life in general. Been really oh, busy. Man, yeah. Um. Well. Yeah. Well, um, and there's a few things I wanted to talk about today. Um, also, I wanted to collaborate with you on a YouTube channel uh, because uh, I'll get to that yeah. in a minute. I'll get to that in a minute. But because yeah. um, I, I follow some YouTubers and they say it's a good idea to have multiple channels just in case something goes wrong or things don't go right, go too right. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's yeah. just yeah. one of those things. Yeah, I think um, I can, uh, I definitely agree with you. From what I've seen too, just you know, just like around nothing I specifically looked into like you have, but uh, I noticed that definitely like there's a lot of YouTubers and you know, the biggest example is having like a main channel and then like a gaming channel. So it's like they kind of like divvy it up a little bit so that it's like you can, you know, people can go to one channel for specifically one thing or ex instead of like going to like one channel and then there's like five different types of videos that they offer so it's like you know kind of like what you're saying where it's like you know it's better to have it you know divvy it up a little bit see what people are like really reacting to yeah so it's not yeah. like like everything is all bundled together mm -hmm. uh well on my older on my on my 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 only channel i mean people react to all different types of things yeah. you know from like games to to comic books, mm. trailers, and, and amongst other. I've gotten a lot of views on mine, which I consider a lot of views for my very first channel. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that yeah. in a minute. Uh, first, yeah. things, first things first, man. I mean, uh, I know we're a little late, and, uh, you know, the the hype has pretty much <laughs> died down. But tell me, what were your thoughts on uh, Masters of the Universe? Yeah. I, like, it was... It was really interesting. I, there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of layers to talk about from from like somebody. So you know, again, like just to to clarify, yeah, I haven't been like super super into into like He Man and Masters of the Universe because yeah. it's like I remember, like I remember seeing episodes and stuff, and I was like so like confused and overwhelmed that I never got into it. Right, but, like I was always aware of it. You know, it was always something that everybody was aware of. Yeah, and then I, I so you yeah. know here comes the news that they're rebooting the series and stuff so i was like you know what sure and you know one of my good friends is also like super into it so like yeah I'll, I'll give it a shot and i watched it and i was like again it was like it was really it kind of reminded me of like um a force awakens and and movies like that when they're rebooting like a really like cherished franchise so you know the first episode is always going to be the safest right of course and i thought with what they yeah, I thought with what they did, like Kevin Smith definitely knows what he's working with. It's very obvious that he knows exactly what he's like. He understands it. Like yeah. all those like really cheesy like jokes and one liners in the front. Like I, I audibly like I was like alone in my room and I like audibly was just like groaning. But like I loved it. I loved it. Definitely loved it. <laughs> Where he's just like, oh, I have the power. Just like really casually. Like yeah. I was just like, oh, my God, <laughs> you know, but it was and then like you know when they finally like again the reason they were doing that was to just kind of like relish in the like goofiness of it all yeah, and that's exactly like what we talked about i think the last time we talked about was like you know embrace the goofiness yeah and then and then they get into like kind of the meat and potatoes and they get into like the 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 second act of the episode and they're just like it's like oh no the whole entire universe is at stake and i'm just like what's going on we're already going to like like yeah. universe breaking stuff already pretty much like and the, then oh i'm sorry to interrupt but it, it's like <laughs> no the, go ahead the first episode it, it just got all crazy like it, i was just like wow this, yeah. this is this is really really good it started off really, really good. I, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I, I loved all five episodes. I mean, I mean, I, everything about it was just great to me. Oh yeah. Um, I just love mm -hmm. what, what what he did was a lot of people were saying it was like a woke thing, which I can kind of understand where they're coming sure. from. But, but at the end of the time, at the end of the day, I mean, it's kind of like what we talked about the last time. Tila was there, and I went back to yeah. the or, original intro to kind of watch and kind of yeah. get some feedback. She never yeah. knew his secret up until now. Yeah. Like, never knew. Exactly right. So so that keeps true to the original story as well. So for her to be upset yeah. and kind of go her own separate way and for the story to be about her totally makes sense because now it becomes more yeah. like 
man, I, I've been your friend for so long, and you never told me. I can't trust you now. Like, it, yeah, yeah I mean, it becomes, and it, like, especially when the secret's that big. Yeah, and but you know, the dad never knew. the mom The mom knew, but the the king never knew either, and he was just like disappointed oh yeah also also quick quick tangent but like that king is voiced by kevin conroy right batman the og batman i i i knew he was gonna be in it somehow i i thought he was gonna be he-man but no that, <laughs> that, 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 that didn't turn out to be the case he was the king yeah yeah i did hear that oh man no that, that was great like I, he started talking and i was just like is that batman now speaking of batman don't get me started <laughs> with mark hamill because he totally killed it Ah, oh, dude, yeah, no, that was that was perfect. Like, yeah, that's yeah. great. It was great casting. Like, people were saying, like, oh, I, I kept hearing, I kept hearing the Joker. I'm like, no, that's Skeletor's voice. He had the perfect voice for yeah. Skeletor. No, I do. Okay, you know, it is interesting that you say, yeah, like, like it sounds like the Joker, and it's like, yeah, like, I like, obviously, yeah, and then what, like, kind of like distinct from it, like, what pulled me away from, like, yeah, that's Joker's voice was when he was always doing that kind of like like little like evil giggle thing while he's also talking kind of a thing where he's like, it's like, hello, Esmeralda. Like yeah. he, he kind of like drops it down a bit like that. Yeah, that's, that's when it kind of like slid from Joker to Skeletor. Yeah. 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 That's what it sounded like. And then, I mean, just a bunch of things happened. Um, I definitely liked how, I mean, they, they went from, I was saying like, oh, you know, the whole, the whole thing is not about He-Man. It is still technically about He-Man. It's just a yeah, story. Yeah, he, he's still definitely the center. Yeah, yeah, he's the center of this whole thing. It's just more the journey of Tila becoming, you know, I mean, I guess the leader now because she has to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, like, there's, yeah, there's, like, a little, you know, there's stuff that you could do in terms of a story arc for He-Man, but it's, like, it's been years and, like, decades and decades, and it's all He-Man, yeah. you know? I, and, it, and, again, I think, I think the thesis kind of for you know, from that first episode is like, what is Masters of the Universe without He-Man? Yeah. You know, what's left? Which I, is to say, like, you know, let's let's build up everything else. I know? gotta I gotta tell you, I was a little worried about Granger because I didn't know if I liked the voice. <laughs> but as soon as I saw it in yeah. motion and it went through and I was like he, spot on, just spot on on the <laughs> Granger. Like they got it yeah. exactly how you know I, I always wanted it to be um yeah no i i definitely i definitely agree with you on that and you know it's like it, it still has a little bit of growing to do for me like on me personally yeah but again that's just like my personal personal take on it but like oh, like yeah. i totally like i don't i don't disagree at all with like what they did i'm just saying like from a personal taste kind of perspective yeah but yeah of course but again, I will, it's like it, i will say it was a little darker i think that's why a lot of people didn't like it it was something that yeah, gives, I, it's, I can. It, it's it's a lot darker than what the original was intended it for it to be. Um, it's it's yeah. just taken more seriously. And you saw the last episode, right? And once again, everybody, this yeah. is a spoiler. So I mean, for those who haven't seen it, <laughs> back out now. But I mean, I, I really enjoyed. I mean, Skeletor getting the sword of power. We've never seen that before. And yeah, and once again, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, he never he didn't get defeated this time. And we saw Adam get stabbed in the chest and, and almost tackled. All that him. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we saw a lot of cool stuff, crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, again, like, kind of the, kind of the, so again, like, the thesis, right? I talked about, like, what is, what is this without He-Man? But again, like, what he's doing is also just kind of, like, breaking the, breaking the rules, quote unquote, of, like, Masters of the Universe, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like again, like that first episode. Going back to it, it's like that low, that last kind of like confrontation between He Man and Skeletor before they disappear. Is that you know they're just like talk, like expositioning all this stuff. It's like oh, the sword is a key, and then this is like the center of the you know magic of the universe, and like mm. doing all this stuff. And then yeah. at the very end, it's like you know finally he realizes, or uh, you know she realizes that he's He Man, Adam's He Man, and again, it's like the whole thing about it is just like you know like keeping secrets and you know status you know the status quo and stuff like that and then you know goes into the rest of it of just like okay now that all these revelations have happened now that all of those plot lines from the original series has happened etc cetera, etc cetera, now what you know like that's the kind of the whole point of this is like let's see where this grows after we've kind of like dealt with what's already been there right true 
Uh, but other than that, I, I really do. I really did it. Really, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot yeah. of fun to see someone else's perspective on the the Masters universe, or you know, what's it like yeah. with Tila in charge. Now, part two is gonna be uh, Evil Lynn's story. So we're definitely gonna see <laughs> Evil Lynn in part two. So it's it's two sides of women's uh, experiences with yeah. you know with their experiences of. One being Tila being He Man, and then uh, Evil Lynn being with Skeletor. Yeah. But personally, yeah. I, I yeah. think I think I think Evil Lynn's gonna portray Skeletor. She was just like, okay, I'll go with you for this <laughs> one time, but I'm gonna yeah. weasel. I'm gonna weasel my way in to stop him from the inside. Technically, I think that's what's gonna go what happen in in part two. I mean, it, it those kind of plot lines are always are always interesting. Where it's like you know somebody works in the the you know in the kind of gray to black area yeah. in order to like cause some change but you know again it's like those are the kind of questions and kind of you know again it almost almost again this kind of just goes against kind of like you know the original he-man again it was black and white good evil and that was kind of the appeal of it and yeah. you know there that's that is good storytelling that is there's a place for them and then kind of what kevin smith's doing is just like you know, bring it into the modern age where we have anti-heroes, where we have gray areas, where it's, mm -hmm. you know, things are darker, things are more complicated. So, you yeah. know, like taking that, you know, again, that evil in character, like there's a lot of characters like her, you know, in, in media, like Power Rangers, for example, mm -hmm. you know, like there's like sorcerers. And so it's like, you know, they're taking that character and they're seeing like, what else can we do with there? Like, we know what's already there. What else can happen? Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, pretty much that, that's pretty sums it all up. Now I really love how just kind of sum it all up. You know, uh, um, I loved it. <laughs> you liked it. You had some issues with it, but you still liked it. Pretty much. Uh, no, I I wouldn't say I would have issues. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. I definitely oh, like I definitely I enjoyed it a yeah. lot. And it's uh -huh. like one of those things where I'm like I'm being reintroduced to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, I understand. Um, I hope. They kind of talk about Shira. That'd be pretty cool if they kind of mention her. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, um. Also, uh, for for me, I gave this a ten out of ten. Uh, I really had a lot of fun. <laughs> I I had a lot of fun watching it, even though yeah. it, was, yeah. it was five episodes and I wanted more. I was kind of like, come on, man. How, how, <laughs> how do you just get five episodes? Usually, it's like ten episodes, which I would have been okay with. Yeah. But five, it's too. Sh it's, you know, I mean, it's so good, but too short, and, and it's like. Come on. that's almost well, better than the opposite right well yes but like too much I, yeah <laughs> I, I, you're right but at the same time a lot happens in within those five episodes and then i mean the way yeah. it ends you're just like what happens next now i gotta wait like another few more months for part two to come out like yeah I don't yeah, know. yeah well i'm glad you enjoyed it i'm glad i enjoyed it so um oh yeah so no, I, I was I was really interested to hear your input because you know somebody who's very obviously a huge fan of the original series. Like, what does somebody who's like a really big fan think of this new stuff? Like, that's I, that's always I, interesting. To I, I like the I like the just the the revamp of it. Like, it, it looks good. It looks better. It feels better. And yeah. he he had to he yeah. he, he kind of kept it true with what's going on nowadays. You know, like uh, what's yeah. it like with a female lead character? What what's it like yeah. for Tila to take charge now? And I, I you know I appreciate that. I like the story. It's interesting. I mean, yeah. I can't wait for part two. Yeah, yeah. No. I I oh, also yeah, totally. I also I also you don't you don't you don't see them, but I also have uh, some uh, Masters of the Universe toys on the wall. I got <laughs> I got Skelegod. Or I yeah, I have them right here at the wall. I got Skelegod. Yeah. I was driving Monica crazy because I have like four of them on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh hey uh so real quick uh that mm -hmm. from that first you know now that we're talking about that first episode is there a specific scene or any like you know a specific you know few seconds that you just like really like man i keep thinking about it yes yes i do um it's where you know they, they well adam gets word that oh uh, uh gray skull is being attacked and they're they're leading everybody yeah. out of the leading everybody out of the ballroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, here comes the music that 
You know what I mean? Yeah. He starts to go, and then he starts. Yeah. He turns into He Man, and then the one thing yeah. I, the one thing I love when I saw it in the morning, it cracked me up because, <laughs> because you know they kept true with, uh, Granger being like, oh no, I don't want to turn into that battle cat. He jumps, but yeah. He yeah, he kind of, away yeah, and yeah, yeah. Just, he's just like, you know, it's going to happen. And yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he kept, he kept, uh, Kevin Smith kept true to that. And I, I love that. I love it. Yeah, I know. That's, it's such an interesting detail, too, that I'm yeah. just like, oh, man. Uh, oh, man. For me, though, it's like, there's like, there's like two of them that are like, I always, I, I've been thinking about. Uh, one of them was like when Skeletor opened up that portal and like shoved his hand through, and this gigantic version of his hand comes through. Yeah, and he that, kicks it. Yeah, and cool. then, but it's like when it comes back out, and he's like, his hand is all like busted up and stuff. And I don't know, like something about that, like how that magic worked, was like so interesting to me. Where it's like this big powerful move, but it's like if it gets countered or something, it still deals damage to you. Yeah. So like, there's still like a bit of a risk to using it. I, it's just like a, it's such a weird thing. That like just keeps in my mind. I'm just like, wow, oh, that's such an interesting attack, you know, payoff and um, cost and stuff. And then one thing that really got me was uh when Skeletor tried to sneak in, which is so Skeletor, and then the sorcerer <laughs> the, the sorceress was like, You think I didn't see through your disguise? Like you, you're dumber than you look. And then uh Yeah. And he was like doing his own dialogue, like I am Skeletor, and he gets blasted away and I thought that was pretty funny because yeah, I mean that's just so yeah, that felt good. Yeah, it just <laughs> felt good. And then she was like, Time after time, you know, you try to take this castle, but you'll never win. I was like, Yes, you know, that's just so good. Like, it was just so good. You know, yeah, it's, no, it was, I, it's very, very obviously like again, like it seems like he he knows exactly like what's up and he's trying to do his own you know again he's bringing it into the modern way but it's like he's he's very conscious he's very aware and it's you know again it's like this is something that he's aware of i mean there's a lot of people um, who, there's a lot of people who loved it and there's just a whole bunch of people who hated this this part one. yeah I'm like i'm like i, I kind of feel bad because at the same time when when is when is it not good enough to make a great product and why do we have to judge it based on certain things? Why can't we just be grateful on getting something, you know, like for the modern age? You know what I mean? I waited a long time for this. Yeah. Yeah. And I was very grateful for no, it. I, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, no, uh, I, I definitely agree with you. And, um, and it goes to show with Snake Eyes. I haven't seen it. We're looking to go see it within the week. <laughs> People keep saying yeah. it's it sucks. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it, but all I kept hearing was like, "Oh, it's so terrible." When when does it when when does yeah. it come to the point of not being grateful for making a movie anymore? We have to judge it. Yeah. based on, you know what I mean. Like, I, I know what you mean. I I think part of it, you know, it's like, a, so it it is interesting. You know, like the snake eyes thing. I'm not. So you know, again, it's like, I'm not. I'm not interested in seeing it well i well i i really do appreciate your time and and you know being with me and talking about all this stuff and and as soon as yeah, i see no, you, it's i always look forward to it of course man i, I appreciate it and uh, all you maniacs out there watching our um, my youtube channel the view from jay uh comment down below and give me a like and subscribe and uh like i said i'm coming up with a new uh youtube channel so uh stick with me and we'll, don't we'll, forget to ring that bell yeah yeah don't forget to ring that bell right so um this video was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends slash Raycon slash <laughs> all the, all the, yeah, all, yeah, all the all the above. So um yeah man uh above. thank you so much for uh doing this with me again. Uh, I'm gonna edit this video and uh, I'll have it up soon. So I wanna oh, appreciate Yeah, no, I, like I said, uh sorry about uh <laughs> making you wait a little bit, but no, no, I, no. I, I was always I'm busy too, so it that's no biggie. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, catch up later. Okay, man. You have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night.